Yes, hi, my name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Mutusu Crafts. Yes, we're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our Facebook page or website at mitosucrafts.com, and we'll send you a handmade card um, the following month, or even an extra gift if you qualify on your order. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Um, <laughs> sorry, we, we've already got a thumbs down, but that's great as well. It's interaction for us. So thank you so much for interacting with the video. <laughs> um, so yes, so uh, like, uh, subscribe and share the, the, the channel uh, to your crafty friends for more card making and paper craft inspiration using Snap and Up products. We do put out a couple of live stream throughout the uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. So, so yes, so subscribe and hit that bell notification icon uh, for all notifications. So hopefully you'll get notified when we are live and we have uh, when we have new uploads as well. Um, pop in a comment, say hello, and you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream. If you are watching the replay, still pop in a comment and we'll put you into the random draw. Ran random no, it's draw <laughs> on the next live stream. Uh, so yes, we have got quite a few of you already um, commenting. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's say hello. Yes, I can't see the screen. No, so you it's can't. All, it's all you now. So we have ooh. Mandy. Um... I'll just change that. Oh, okay. All there right. we go. So we have yes, Mandy. Hello, Sandra. Um, Steph, thank you so much for watching. Um, Connie and Ink with Heather, Amanda, you're so much faster than me. <laughs> How do you do so it? Much Sue, um, Sue, Boo. Sue, Betty, um, scroll down again, <laughs> Maureen, um, Betty, I think I said Betty, Marion, we have got Lynn. Linda, Linda Kathy, Kathy, Sam, Sam Duffy, Duffy Joanne, Joanne, and then it does that at the yeah, very end. Helen, Tessa, Helen, Teresa, Teresa, Lorna, I think that's Lorna I can see there. Yes, so so look, I'm looking through our ring light. I've kind of got the camera in the way so I can't see. So um, that's why it looks like I'm, I'm looking underneath the camera. Yes. So, so uh, thank you everyone for joining yes, us. And welcome to today, tonight's uh, live stream. Yes. Before we... Um, we crack on. Uh, we will be giving what away. What are you going to give away? Have you decided yet? I haven't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make the winner choose. <laughs> so it's out of my hand. Uh, but I love both cards. So hopefully you do too. You do too. Um, and yes. Yeah, so if you win, you can choose. Email us um, and choose which ones you prefer to be sent to you. Okay. okay so Excellent. shall we do those? So let's flip you round. There we go. Um, the random draw. So let me just update the list there. So we had 37 comments go in last week for that one. You all right? What are you yeah. thinking? Um, let's see who it is. Karen, Karen. Lazenby. Karen, message us. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. And that card will be working its way to you. Congratulations, so are we Karen. going to go straight down? Yeah, we'll go straight down. We're going to go down. straight down. Let's put that down like that. Can you and just bump it up slightly? Like that. Thank you. And Jay needs some more. Yeah. There we go. Close your eyes. That's it. I think we are all good. So I'm going to pass you over to Jay. Yeah. Cool. So, hello. <laughs> We're trying to find where, where to put our mark. But you can't go any lower okay. than that. Lower than that. Okay, I'll try. So today's make as um as on the title we have a touch of ink stamp set. So this one is free from celebration twenty twenty one. Um and available until the 28th of February. So it is free when you spend 90 pounds uh, before PNP on your online order from us. And this is actually one of my favorite in the celebration brochure, but I haven't actually played with it. Uh, Barry has created a card um, for the Cashly Crafting, I believe it was. Show you at the end. Yeah, we'll show you at the end. 
uh, Blog Hop, but um, I haven't, yeah, I haven't played with it at, at all, I don't think. So it's got, um, again, two, two step stamping, so for quick and easy coloring of the images. So you can see that those kind of like colors it. And it's got watercolor wash on the second um, for the inner, shall I say, not, uh, for the filler. And because they're watercolor wash, it won't exactly fit into the image. So it's not, it won't go straight into within the lines. Uh, but what's great about this, even though it looks quite small, it's actually only 65% the images at the front. So they are massive. Um, so you can see that the, I've already taken some of the stamps that I'll be using. So it's actually a massive stamp. So great for toppers, um, the butterflies and the hummingbird and even the, the flower there. And you have the leaves for backgrounds and even the watercolor designs or um, the block designs. So that's what I'm actually going to be using tonight. Um, so to start off with, I'll, I'll do two. Um, I'll quickly just show you whilst I'm getting um, my items. Yeah, I'll do two cards tonight. Sorry, it wobbled. Just got loads of stuff on here. Uh, one, I'll say easy. It is easy. And then we'll step it up for the second one. So I have a normal card base of thick card. So yes, yeah, so that is if you live in in Europe, uh, 120 euros before PNP and you'll get this for free. But there's loads of different um, freebies like the donkeys um, in the brochure. Cool. So yeah, so normal card base and I'm gonna cut my card stock or a thinner one. This ring light, ring light is right next to my mouth. <laughs> my mouth. I'm just like. <laughs> so this one is one, two, three and a half. Is that three and a half as well? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, and a half. So uh, three and a half centimeters less than the card base front, or that is um, what's that? Three and a half one three eighths of an inch less than your card base so again the proportion of it it's got a nice border on it but i haven't decided whether i'm gonna cut it afterwards so just normal um white card so that one is thick that one's normal and because it's photopolymer i will use my pierce mat just for cushioning and sorry about the messy uh, <laughs> messy grid paper so with this one my idea was actually so I'm sure you already know that I like to kind of like make the most of stamp sets and what else we can do with it so one of my favorite thing to do is actually create a different um, kind of like image or use something um, to make something else so this one as soon as i saw it, it looks like a flower so we're gonna be concentrating on that and because the stamp set hasn't got a matching die my first card will be um kind of like just the topper without fussy cutting um on the brochure you do have that it's great that the samples does show it without fussy cutting but um which is there, but sometimes uh, samples, when the design needs it, they do love their fussy cutting like, like that. But I will be fussy cutting later on uh, for the second card because sometimes the design just needs it. And um, if you have obviously an electronic cutting machine, it's, it's great, but um, you can fussy cut with the paper sniffs. So saying that, so my first card, something easy, he says, I'll be using the, I would say, yeah, the butterfly um, filler as a flower. So that one, 
and also if I show you that one, this one for the background and the colors that I'll be using for the flower are before I Magenta Madness and I'm actually going to be using uh, some Stampin' Markers which we don't normally use. We have it, uh, we have or we have most of it. So Rich Russellberry as well as Melon Mambo. Okay, so let's start. So ink pad and this one. Yeah, I'll probably cut. Yeah, I'll cut it. So ink up your stamp. I'm going to go straight in quite close to the top. So I'll have space at the bottom for the sentiment. Ta -da! Amazing. Um, so whilst that's uh, drying, I don't need it just yet. We are, oh, and I forgot. Um, you'll also need the old olive marker. So whilst that's drying, we're going to stamp this one for the background. And I'm going to use soft sea foam. Um, it's a really lovely color. It's so light that it just blends into the background or kind of like a, when you stamp over a stamped image, it does just kind of like blends into the background. So I'm just going to go all the way down. more towards the left hand side and then all the way down and that is done so easy stamping right so this is when it becomes a little bit trickier but uh, i'm sure everyone can um, draw lines right um, so this is when we do the Stampin' Right marker. So what I'll do first is building up the flower. So you have the darker um, for the shadows, I'm going to use the Rich Russell Berry and for the mid-tones, I'm going to use Melon Mambo. So I'll be using the brush tip. So on your markers, as always, you have a thin one for the fine tip and then the uh, broad line for the brush tip. So you just need to make sure uh, you kind of like know or like just add the darker shades for where your shadows is going to be. So I'm going to have it down here and I'm just going to really flick up where I want those shadows or flick down. Okay, so easy, easy. Um, and then we're going to have some more here and then here as well. And then at the bottom here. Okay, you could add some more um, flicks. <laughs> the flick up is harder. I do think flicking down is much easier. So I'm just take take my paper down, um, and you could always go back and have do another flick up so it goes th uh, thinner on top. And I'm just gonna do some more flicks at the bottom here so use what's already there uh, so i'm gonna flick down here and some more here okay you could always come back for more so we're gonna do the mid-tones now so for the mid-tones Again, we can do in between the edges and the white lines. So just flicking, flick up or down. And last one here. Kerry Morgan has said she doesn't have markers. Could she use blends to do this? You you can use blends um as well. So I do you wanna pass me some oh, one. <laughs> one? Do you wanna pass me a blend? Um it's Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, uh, you can uh, as well. Uh, have we got? We should have melon mambo and rich russell berry. So with the markers, because it's only one shade, uh, so you might have to play around with your markers. So the dark might be too dark. Uh, but try it out. I was I just wanted Barry to get it so then we can see the thickness of it. Because um, if you've noticed when I was flicking up with these, I have it more. So you can change the thickness with your markers. So as well, the same with your stamping blend. So you do have the fine tip and then the broad. But with the broad, it's like that. And with the marker, it's like that. So that one was the dark. No, light melon mambo. So you can use your... Um, What's it called? Broad tip as well. But yes, you can do the markers. Um, stamping blends. I just wanted to show the markers for an alternative. So we will... Oh, Suki's on the table. Thank you. Uh, oh, we do have the chalk marker so we can add highlights. Um, or if you have like pigment pens as well. This is a better one, hopefully. I did use pigment pen on my sample. Uh, I was playing around with it. So let's see how this works. So you can add um, more details. So you've already got the white highlights on there already, but I do quite like adding like dots and lines in random places. So you could just place a couple of lines in between or a couple of dots even if you want to and then if it does dry more less bright than you prefer you could always go back and do those as well so where else do we want down here and maybe we'll just do dots there So go back and then it will intensify that white line. Okay, and then we'll do dots there. So yeah, just, just play around with your lines and dots. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, where you have it because it's more decorative. Um, and because the stamp is, you're using your stamp as a base. So hopefully the lines are already there. Um, I'm gonna, use um, so you can use your basic black with the fine but ours is running out so i'm actually going to use a pigment pen um fine liner and i'm just going to draw around so it's kind of like it's got an outline and it's all freehand again because the stamp lends itself for having wobbly edges it doesn't matter well, I don't think it matters. And you can even go in with your lines to enhance that flower. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going over wobbly wobbly lines. It doesn't matter. I'm stopping there. And then look at your image and then see if you want to add a bit more on there. So we can add another pink there. Um, actually, I'm going to have that going in a bit more. Yeah. Pink, pink. What else? So, and then the darker ones, I'm going to add more dark at the bottom. Okay. And then going up and then you can even use the really thin thin tip <laughs> double t's um, to just go over on top and then add those shadows okay i hope that makes sense and it's not too difficult right um do a thumbs up if it's not too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it's art it, it's artistic it's your um creative license so doodle as much as you want or as less as you want um but yes i really i quite like creating something out of something else so i'm just going over because i do want those added white lines to be much darker Oh, Minnie's trying to come up with me. Minnie. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. You get the idea. I'm gonna bring the trimmer in and I'm gonna cut a slant on there. Because on my play time, <laughs> my play card, um, I cut it square and I didn't have anywhere to put my sentiment. Uh, so I don't want to add like a punch image or um, die cut image on a kind of like, I guess, two layer card. So I'm just going to do a diagonal. Uh, so you could always use your trimmer. So you have the, the grids. So up, down, maybe down, maybe that way. So I'm aligning it at one and a quarter on the right hand side i'll bring it up in a sec Let's do diagonally okay maybe down okay i'll do it yeah one and a quarter and three quarters so i'll bring it up before i cut it so the corner one and a quarter or 3.2 and then this corner is at three quarters of an inch so that's how i'm gonna cut it and then you have two pieces it will obviously if you it will change obviously the proportion of it in the on the card base but I think that's fine and I wanted it cut now because I'm gonna draw a stem and I don't want the stem to carry on onto here but I wanted that design to carry on so that old olive marker with the broad you again you just follow down that edge of the black line so just down and then do the same for the other one and then just fill it in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline it with the black see i missed but that's fine and then hopefully that's dry already use your chalk marker again and then add the highlight on the right hand side Excuse me so you can leave it there and have a quite clean and crisp card I'm gonna stamp the sentiment and then show show that to you but I will be doing some sponging on it so the sentiment on the set we have best wishes thank you so much uh, thinking of you hello friend love and hope and again, it's different sizes. He says, where did I put the stamps? Oh, it's underneath the ink pad. So I do like the best wishes because it's the biggest one. So it can fill that whole um, panel. I'm probably going to do thank you so much because that's always handy. Or let's see thinking of you that's actually quite small so yeah i'm just gonna do best wishes because i think it's one of those sentiments that can be for different occasions really and i'll just get a block So we're just gonna stamp that in 
memento. That will be the easiest one. I don't think I've used this. So I think it's a new ink uh, stamp. So I'm just... <laughs> the um, memento has got like a can um, cloth on top. So if it's a new stamp, I, t I tend to just rub it on there just to get rid of it if there's any uh, coating. So if that's going to be like that, right in the middle, yeah, I'll go, I'll go right in the middle. And then if I just show you how it would look and then just prop that up in um, Stampin' Dimensionals, which I forgot to get, um, you can keep you can do that. Can you pass me the stamping dimensionals? But as I as mentioned, I will do some sponging. So blending brushes or stamping up stamping sponges. Thanks. Two. <laughs> I didn't know what you wanted. Sorry? I didn't know what you wanted. Oh no, that's fine. Um so I'm gonna use old olive ink pad. So I've already used the um marker on there so if you are new to blending brushes just rub it in a circular motion if you've got loads just take it off and I'm starting at the bottom in a circular motion to have the bottom slightly darker And because I only did it from there, it still keeps the sentiment quite bright. So we'll make up our card and then we'll do the next one. That one, that one. I do have some opal rounds and fine art ribbon. So, um, you could either just have that across at the bottom or um, coming out, fold it in half and coming out on there. But I'll, I'll do my dimensionals first. So I haven't looked at the chat. How's everyone? Yes, we do have our next online class is with sponging or blending, um, with stamping sponges or blending brushes. So if you enjoy those sort of things, um, do book into our class, which you can do on our website. And Barry will pop a link in. Okay. So that's that. That's that. I'm just gonna cut a tiny bit of this. Yeah. And just have it. Maybe we should have done that afterwards. Oh, what's that? What's wrong with me? There we go. No, oh, I didn't want it that way. Well, it's gonna be that way now. <laughs> and I forgot to put it in. Okay. I got carried away with the dimensionals. Oh. That is really sticky. I must have um, pressed it too hard. So Terran tape is or mini glue dot, but I tend to use Terran tape. Offset it slightly 
So then you have the tear and tape to stick the top and the bottom. There, and we'll do another one there. Cool, so nearly done. It, um, very simple layout and layers, really. Uh, but I still hope that the creativity of you doing the topper you still enjoy and try it for yourself if you do have the set. I've lost my... There we go. Right, I'm just gonna stand up so I can see. I do want it more centralized. Is that gonna be too top? Yeah, it's too top. Too top heavy. Oh. oh. Right. Here we go. And a tiny. That looks straight to me. I hope it is straight. But yes, yeah, so that's the first card. What do you think of that one? I hope you enjoy it. So it's do sign very artistic, would never have thought of doing it that way. Cool. So yeah. I think people like it. Yay. So this one was my play my play one. Um using a pigment pen uh, but I went over it quite a lot so and then I messed it up a little bit so oh I forgot the opal rounds we can do some opal rounds gotta have some bling right I know we got the gold but yeah so that one is done the same way you can see I've added more of the rich Russell berry at the bottom there and had it more covering the stem so we'll just do some opals tack cherry is up just we can use a hydrangea heaven but we haven't got it we we'll to explain that <laughs> what was that we haven't got a hydrangea kit um sex uh yes we yeah we Cap Cherry would like us to do some stuff ah uh, yeah we don't have um that that set car just yet hopefully we will <laughs> But we don't know when. Um, oh, don't know when we're going to get any of it. <laughs> okay. Yes, so um, I'm not sure if you're aware. Um, if we're, we're UK is currently experiencing some uh, delayed uh, delivery due to Brexit and, of course, um, COVID. So, yes, um, our order has been delayed or our last order. Where are we gonna put this now? I've said it. I don't want to double, double stack it. Double embellish. Double embellish. <laughs> I do. I do like. I'll, I'm gonna hide one. I will have to put that one top there. Yeah, that looks okay. I do like my zigzaggy pattern. <laughs> so that's the first one. So for the next one, I'm gonna use Blackberry Bliss card base. Um, I quite like using this as a card base. It's dark, but it's got a color on it, so it's not too harsh. Do I have it? I thought I've cut it already. It's underneath. All of my stuff. Ooh, it's on the floor. <clears throat> so I've already pre-cut one. So again, normal card base. I'm gonna use again just a normal basic white or I'm, I'm demonstrating whisper white. So just the normal one. And I'm gonna cut that down to Nine point nine. 
by 14 so it is six millimeters smaller than the card front or that is a quarter of an inch smaller we need to change or clean our trimmer or change the blade that's i think it just needs cleaning so again that will have a thin it's thinner but depending on how things go i'm thinking of cutting it and you can have two toppers okay so this one it's pretty much the same but we're gonna do more of a field of flowers <laughs> So I thought I, I would do one first, show you how to kind of like get the basic of it. And then we'll do a, a full page of it. Have you got the shami? I thought I had it here. No. Oh no, it is here. <sighs> so I'm just gonna clean my stamps. So I'll be using the same ones um, because why not? It's in the same stamp set. Uh, we do like to just use one uh, or two stamp set just in case um, obviously people want to recreate it. I will also use the leaves filler. Did you have some problems with dimensionals sticking out of your arm? Yeah. yeah. Um, Subo Bell has said half on the dimensionals to unstick them. Oh yes, yes, great, great tip. And thank you for reminding me. Yes, because of um, the heat of your huffness, <laughs> of your huffing. <laughs> so we are gonna stamp while you love huffness. <laughs> so we've already used uh, Magenta Madness. So I'm gonna use that. Um, Soft sea foam. I'm gonna add Blackberry Bliss to uh, coordinate with the card base, and Granny Apple Green, and we'll sponge again with the Old Olive. So more ink. So that this is like a stepped up version. <laughs> so we're gonna stamp the leaves filler first in Granny Apple Green. And even this one, I was like, oh, it looks really nice. I'll show you when I've done it. And then if you want to keep it simple and clean, uh, this for background is amazing. But because I want to have it lighter, I'm going to stamp off the page and then stamp on the page. And this is uh, two, uh, not two step stamping, uh, stamp off technique or second generation stamping. So I'm going to go there. You just want to talk about our online classes a little bit, so if you don't know how they work and so on like that, if you get there, when you get a moment. Yeah. So sometimes be, uh, be careful when you stamp off. If it's already got an ink on the paper, sometimes it brings it up, but it doesn't matter. So yes, online classes, we, um, we normally do two per month, uh, the second and the fourth Tuesday of the month. And it's at 7 p.m. GMT. So you can join us live for the Zoom or you could watch the replay on Facebook. So you'll be invited um, on a private Facebook where uh, you can watch and share your projects using different stamps or techniques uh, that you've used before as well or that you've created. It's just great to share your makes as well um, and inspire others uh, that has the same products as you um, and what happens is yeah we we it's exclusive designs for the staff uh, for the class and um, you'll get pdf tutorial for worldwide options you will get the pdf and then um, for the entry for the class as well and um, we do put on the PDF tutorial preparation so to get the class running smoothly uh, we do list 
preparations for like card bases and um, layers and things like that if you need to die cut some stuff but we try to do that mostly on the night uh, but yes so if you do have any other questions that i haven't um answered just they're email us as well. we don't normally share them yeah elsewhere, are we? We don't yeah we don't do them on videos yes yeah, so they are exclusive you we might do sneak peeks or like quickly show the projects but we don't um show the tutorials anywhere else so demo the cards yeah, yeah. Uh, when we don't demo the cards or how to make them okay. so this one um so yeah so falling leaves already is quite nice um i love i, I love the randomness of it because i can't do random <laughs> it has to be uh it has to make sense to me so stamps like these are are great for uh crafters like me because i can just <laughs> stamp it and it's there I don't have to think much about it. Um, it's just there. So for the next stamping, I will do, do I need some more? The bottom, okay. Yes, I do. So stamp off again. I'm, I get this one, I'm gonna concentrate more at the bottom because we'll have the flowers in between. There we go. And then we're gonna build our field flower fields. I, I don't really know what type of flower is that. It looks a bit like poppy. 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 So you could have I could have done reds, I guess. So magenta madness, we're gonna do ours in. I was thinking of using flirty flamingo, but I'm just gonna stick to Magenta Madness, and I'm gonna go straight in across. Oh, I should have done that higher, but I can stamp some more leaves afterwards. So I'm just gonna go again across the page, changing and tilting. The stamping and once that's done I'm gonna change it change the color to blackberry bliss and then we'll do another row am I going down too much another row of flowers so before I do that I will clean the stamp because it's got on the edges so the I'm just like pushing everything up. Blackberry Bliss. In this one, let's, I'm just gonna pull it down lower. Again, just moving along and tilting the stamp. that was quite low am i happy with that that's fine it's gonna have to do <laughs> so have it more in line with each other i went down slightly and we're just gonna build up the flowers i'm just gonna add some more green because i wanted some of the green on top so we do have the soft sea foam gonna move the card before I mess that up hey look <laughs> we'll cover it so that's where the embellishment is gonna go so that's good I don't have to think later on 
and because we have already have two tones of that um the leaves it already creates depth and we we have the foreground with the darker flowers and then we have the pink and then the granny apple green and the soft sea foam so you again you already created that depth we just need to make sure um to define those flowers uh using the markers or the stamping blends so i'm gonna start off with my outline this time because it's loads of different flowers i'm gonna decide on which flower is gonna be more on at the front so i'm gonna have actually i'm gonna stamp i'm gonna have this one as more at the top so i'm gonna outline all of this flower all around because i want that to be more at the front and down so it doesn't matter where you do the flowers and I'm gonna again I'm gonna stop by there even though you can see the stamping of that one if you do the lines don't do all of the outlines because I've already made that I don't know if you can see I've already lined that petal uh, so I'm gonna work on this one so if I if I hit a line I'm not gonna go over that line I'm gonna carry on after that line if that makes sense so that's how you create depth as well and reinforce that um, the dimension on your card or project or your artwork right so that one's done and because I want the this to stand out more I'm actually not gonna outline the magenta madness flowers and just have that as more kind of like having that um, illusion that is out of focus but it's not if that makes that's that's what i was thinking anyway completely missed that one so that one was in front of that one so the rest of that didn't go in okay so now we can do our Shadows. So for the shadows, um, I'm I'm still using the rich raspberry. So I'm I'm just gonna go around like one side of the flowers. Again, be mindful of where your line is. Obviously, you don't want to flick up that and ruin the illusion. And to make sure that that goes even more up uh, forward to align next does that make sense hopefully it does lindles just asked what's the pen you are using now i don't know if not that's the black yeah or the one. this one is the rich raspberry uh marker the pen you can use the black uh marker as well but ours is running out so i'm using a fine liner but you can use uh i'm sure you can use the journaling pens i don't think it's available anymore but if you do have the journaling pens you can use that as well so where are we here so down here the line and more there I'm coloring pretty much the same areas uh, so maybe change it up when you are doing this so then your flower doesn't look too the same samey samey but hopefully you get the idea and I'm gonna flick flick up because I do prefer 
the bottom to be darker so on my original I didn't actually use the melon mambo but I'm just melon mambo marker so I'm gonna just see if it actually makes a difference yeah it does so you're using the stamp set as a kind of like your starting point and as a guideline for your um, flowers so random random and then we can come in with the chalk marker okay so how are we doing for time nearly 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 so go in in between or anywhere you want to create your highlights with the chalk marker do dots if you want Sometimes the chalk marker does lose its um, color, just get rid of the ink that you picked up. So I'm just making sure that it gives that illusion again that it's behind that flower. Okay, you get the idea. Um, so it's a lot more prominent. Old olive, so just follow that line, go down um, and fill that in. in here as well and in here that one's gone <laughs> and don't forget you do have those flowers as well so you can add more stems stems or stalk underneath if you want to but i do like the so just do two lines and then fill that in that's for one and then you can even do a slanting one or something no one's gonna know <laughs> um if you really want to yeah you could always do some more but that's what i mean that i can't do random it has to make sense i have one two three four flowers i have one two three four extra stamps <laughs> So I'm just going to go in and finish those off and I'll show you my play one at the end. Did Judy Poindexter is after you like to paint? I, <coughs> I used to paint. I do have a fine art painting background. Um, but it was more conceptual fine art. So I didn't actually, I didn't learn or we didn't have classes where it tells, shows uh, where the, we have tutors of how to paint or draw. Uh, it's more self-taught um, degree, I guess um, you could say. But yes, um, I used to, <laughs> I used to do painting. Um, yeah, on my third year, I was um, looking at graffiti 
I, I didn't do graffiti. I was looking at, uh, that was for my thesis. Uh, I had to write up a thesis and I was looking at stencil graffiti. Um, and, and I was like doing paper craft now. I was like, why did that, why did I not have this when I was at uni? This would have been like so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, I was playing with um, graphite powder, um, plaster and things like that. Uh, yes, that was fun. That was like ages ago, but yes. So to finish off, I'm gonna darken the bottom with the old olive. Again, just to give that hazy. Is that a word? Hazy look. <laughs> and what happens as well is it does dull down the white on the on the um, highlights, but I think it's still fine. I do have a mini on now, so I can't move much. So that is done. I'm not gonna do the top because I'll show you my initial one. I I got carried away. I sponged, uh, I blended some more granny apple green and old olive and I think it's too green, but just to show you the difference, I think it um, pops more on there. So um, for the, the top part, I did say I was gonna fussy cut, but I have created, <laughs> I, I won't fussy cut live uh, now because we're running out of time. I've stamped this on just normal uh, Whisper White or basic white if you have it and stamped in Memento. And we're just gonna quickly color that either with the blend, uh, not the blends, um, water painters. So it had time to dry, so you can water wash on top of your memento once it's dry, but don't color, use water painters when it's still slightly wet because it will make it gray. So I thought um, color wise, so I thought um, the pinks and the green, so um, I'm gonna use, I don't know how um, it will look. So I'm gonna actually do a hint of Magenta Madness. And I'm gonna wash with Bermuda Bay. So if you have one of these new ink pads, they're hard to press. So just use your block Minnie, you're really restricting my reach. <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna listen to you. Well, she's looking up at me. She's like, stroke me, stroke me. Um, so use your, there, you don't need as much. And Bermuda Bay. So these uh, older cases are okay, are easier, but just to show you. So to finish up, I'm just going to do, I think, yeah, wash off Bermuda Bay. So add lots of water if you, if you're not too sure, I'm not too sure. <laughs> How, or if you don't want it too dark because you could always add more, you can't take away. That looks all right. See, I didn't need all of that color there. Little goes a long way. Um, and then I don't want to ask for kitchen roll, so I'm just squeezing that out. And then I'm you gonna have kitchen roll if you want kitchen roll. It's fine. Right. No, I'm fine. Thank you. So I'm, I'm a lot more concentrated 
magenta madness and I'm gonna do it on the edge and then blend that out and it creates a lovely purple color as well which I, I think I like because it, the magenta madness is already on the on that card I think it works well we'll see what you think right to tell us or what uh, colors would you have chosen for your butterfly I didn't want there yeah that's all right all right I'm gonna move that way away 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 from me lid there we go so how does that look there I've also for the body just kind of like flick it up oh I haven't colored the body I'm gonna do him in old olive probably gonna go pink but oh well I just need to clean that water painter afterwards so that's gonna go there I'm gonna have mine here Oh, what's that? Tommy, Minnie was there first. Let go of her. <laughs> we bought them cat beds and um, Tommy likes the really big one. Minnie doesn't normally get on it, but whenever Minnie's on it, Tommy wants to get on it. So he doesn't Wait. like sharing. Tommy, come sit with me. <coughs> so the idea was have it as the whole card, card front. But if you want to make um, the most of your um, stamped, stamp, yeah, stamped creation, you can have it as like having a panel on the top and then you can make two cards. So I'll probably do that with this one uh, and block that or show that to you next time. But this one, I'm just gonna go straight on. I will show you some tips <coughs> tips he says how you can make the most of this uh, <laughs> Barry hates it when I do this so nearly done I'm just I just want to um, kind of like add something another texture onto it uh, and then the sentiment so I'm gonna have the underneath you alright Barry yeah what's the time uh, five past eight, so. okay so nearly done so on my um, card for the spot creative challenge last week i recreated a forever fern card and on the band on the ribbon band i had some thread on there uh, so this is how i actually made it so i'm cutting it in half of of course you can use linen thread but um and then you can take off these ones are soft <laughs> It reacts differently to linen thread. So you have all of those um, cut in half. And then you can still use... I'm thrifty. <laughs> you can still use that because it's still intact. Um, so yes, so I, I wanted to show, show it to you. But probably no one else will do this because no one's as stingy as me right <laughs> and you have like a freely bit anyway so i'm gonna have that down there and i'm gonna create a bow or something with the threads so i'm gonna have that there there and there Ready 
Rosie Reynolds has just asked what stamp set we use. We missed a beginning. Do you want to just show that there? If I can, yes. A touch of ink. Yes, so it's the free celebration um, stamp set, a touch of ink. So we use that as uh, to create the flowers for the stamping. Oh, actually, shall I cover that? No, because I like it going there. Okay, <laughs> just answer myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna have one there on the left. How am I gonna do this? Okay. So I'm just gonna have, that's easier. And then all the way down on the other side. Okay, need there and tape. What am I doing? <coughs> it's more fiddly now that everyone's watching. When I was when I did it the other day, I was just like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I'm probably not showing it as fun. There, okay. I'll move that in a sec. So all the way down. That's fine, it's gonna go down and then with these ones you can either just stick it with mini glue dot there behind your what's that butterfly or you can just cut it um which call it tie it so i will need the glue dot please Barry. Yeah. <laughs> i was trying not to think what else can i do that it won't need a glue dot but um it's it's it it makes us think of other things but I can't it's 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 too small never mind so I've just done that and then glue dot that it will have some stuff on right I'm really not showing this very well, am I? Wait, Tommy. What is he doing? He's just scraping at her like he would do the food to get her out of bed. And he's one. Oh, poor Minnie. Oh, Minnie. Okay. Tell Tommy off when you see him on screen later. <laughs> yes, he's just batted Minnie out of bed. Oh, baby. Right, that's not working. Okay. Which so I've added it there. And nearly done. I've just made my thread down here and then we can, can cut off the excess. That's fine. Oh, it's gonna get hidden, it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's stuck. So I'm gonna add that on with, oh man, another one. Multi-purpose liquid glue, please. <laughs> Before we went live, I was like, Okay, he hasn't put the multipurpose liquid glue on the table. I know his game. I must put that on. What and do I you mean still about his game? <laughs> I know your game. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what I did last time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How many was that? Four or five? Stand up. And 
Yeah, so stick the paper, the um, stamp element down first before you add that because that was a bit too flimsy for my liking. Or use linen thread. So I only added glue to that side and then we're just gonna have that there. Yeah, there. Higher. And then we're gonna add a sentiment, which is... We've done best wishes. I think that's the only... Yeah, we'll do best wishes again. And he said I was... I said I wasn't gonna fussy cut, but... I might have to fussy cut this one. See, I'm stingy. I don't want to use a... That could be a card front. <clears throat> In Memento. And... Cover, cover, cover before I mess this up. Right, nearly done. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share the video if you haven't done so. If you're watching the replay, pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw on the next live stream. If you are inspired by one of our projects, to tag us uh, when you share it on your social media. Tag us at Mitoso Crafts. Or you can also share it on our Crafty Stampers Facebook group. Um, so check that out. If you love pinning your projects as well, we can invite you to co collaborate and pin that to our Pinterest board. So yes, so message us if you want to collaborate on Pinterest as well. So what's coming up this ne in the next week? It's it's like an odd week because it's a fifth week for of the month, isn't it? So most of our blog hops are already actually done. But we do have the Forever Fern class on Tuesday, don't we? Yeah. Is it? Is it next Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, because the month started, I think it was a Friday or Thursday. So most of the hop that we tend to do have already been done. The Creating Kindness have, um, will be back, but it'll be in March. So don't, um, don't worry, we will be back with, I'll be back with the rest of the Creating Kindness crew. Cool, so that took longer than normal. And then we're gonna add, where's the opals? I had some. I don't know where I put it. Right, so we're gonna add one there because just to <coughs> cover that massive fingerprint. Yeah. And we're just gonna have to go random. Yes, that looks good. Dimensionals. So prop this up. And then we're nearly done. So Barry can come over. Are you new? So don't forget to um, post that comment before Barry gets up. Yeah. Because it's we'll do the random draw. Ooh, upside down. 
So you don't even need to do the legs, you can just hide it. <laughs> hide it with your sentiment. And then I do want a bigger one. Oh no, where's my triangle, see? I'm gonna have to move that one, okay. Mm. No, wait. I move that one. Triangle. Oh, you're right. There, done. Yay! So I hope you enjoyed that card and this is the first one so two completely different um cards i guess but using the same stamps one is much more cleaner obviously the sponging is is there but i think it's still quite clean and um with the white border and bar's gonna come yeah i'm just Trying to tidy because, as always, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> okay, so, didn't he do well? Oh, they are something completely different. Um, and they actually look even better up, up front as well. On the video, obviously it's. It, oh, what's it? Yeah. No. Well, no, it. Uh, yeah, it just looks really, really nice up close. So somebody's going to win this card, and hopefully you would agree how nice it actually is. So yes, this is a card we're going to give away. So I'm going to set that up if once I can find a space to get to the computer. <laughs> have you got your card. <laughs> I have. It's here. Oh, okay. Cool. And um, yeah. Yes. So you have me to rumble on again. So I just wanted to show you, um, obviously it does color the same stamp that I use. It colors the, the butterfly wings, um, but as mentioned, it is much bigger because it's, um, it's a random filler. I tried the, this one I used the stamping marker to color, but it was too strong and uh, the color just kind of like it didn't have enough give on it so that's why i decided to use the water painters to have a bit more watercolor wash on there and this is paris card from the cashly crafting i'm sure you've um you've already seen this one um if you follow our blog uh, or if you've subscribed to our inspiration newsletter so this one he used the filler for the hummingbird and the flower as well, but he used the dober to The dober technique. The dober yes. technique. So, one of um, my favorite so techniques. Do the shading. Yes. Which was quite nice. Did and I do a video for that one? I, think. I don't think you did. Did I not? No, so okay. maybe, maybe you maybe should. I to, maybe I need to demonstrate that one yeah. on um, in a couple of days' time. Yeah. So some inspiration for you. As mentioned, we, yeah, I haven't used the set, so I'm just like, it was one of the said that we, I was, Barry, you mu we must get that first. <laughs> and I, I haven't touched it. So good, all right, so um, we're gonna pick a winner for this one, uh, pick a winner yep. for this one here, aren't we? So it is all set up and ready to go. So let's bring you over to the screen. There we go, you can now see that. The winner of this card is going to be... Where's my mouse? Oh, there sorry. it is there. Good luck, everyone. The winner is going to be... Lorna. Lorna. Congratulations. Lorna, that card is coming to you. So message us, please. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. The email has been popped in the comments. Um, things you can scroll in there. But yeah, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Good. Excellent. So let's pop that down. And then let's just... Right. Bring that round. So there we go. Sorry, I'm I'm, just, I'm still looking whether it's straight Jay's or just, not. Jay's I, just could, I, could, I couldn't tell. But yes, congratulations, Lorna. Um, email us and let us know if you'd love to receive this card. Uh, and for those um, 
who didn't win, you, you have another chance. So do pop in a comment in the actual video uh, comment sections. And, and if you're watching the replay, pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw for this card. So I hope, uh, we hope you enjoyed these, um, yeah, video tutorial. Video demonstrations. <laughs> Demonstration with a touch of ink stamp set. Excellent. Free from celebration. Lovely. Cool. I think that's it. Yeah. We will see you again on Wednesday evening, same time, same place. Until then, have a good week, and we will see you again very soon. Cool. Thank you. Take care for now. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.